Imagine two icy cosmic giants, remnants from the early solar system hurtling through the vast emptiness of space. These are no ordinary asteroids, mind you. They are colossal water-rich behemoths, their frozen hearts harboring the potential to breathe life into barren worlds. Now picture these celestial wanderers drawn by the irresistible pull of gravity towards a fiery inferno. Their destination? Venus, the second planet from our sun, a planet shrouded in thick clouds and baked in a runaway greenhouse effect. Venus, often called Earth's evil twin, is a scorching hellscape with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. Its atmosphere, a dense cocktail of carbon dioxide, traps heat with ruthless efficiency, creating a world where life, as we know it, is impossible. But what if, in a cosmic twist of fate, these icy asteroids were to collide with Venus? What if these water-rich wanderers were to inject their life-giving cargo into the heart of this toxic inferno? This, my friends, is not a scene from a science fiction movie, but a tantalizing hypothetical scenario that has ignited the imaginations of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. The Venus Collision Hypothesis, as it is known, proposes that the impact of these water-rich asteroids could dramatically alter the Venusian atmosphere, potentially setting in motion a chain reaction with implications for the future of this enigmatic planet. Could this be the first step towards transforming Venus from a hellish wasteland into a more hospitable world? Could this be the key to unlocking the secrets of our celestial neighbor and perhaps, one day, even making it habitable for humans? The answers, my friends, lie in the realm of scientific exploration. Let's delve deeper, shall we? Before we delve into the potential consequences of this cosmic collision, let's take a closer look at Venus as it exists today, a planet often described as a runaway greenhouse. Imagine a world shrouded in a thick, toxic atmosphere, a suffocating blanket of carbon dioxide that traps heat with relentless efficiency. The surface temperature, a scorching 900 degrees Fahrenheit or 475 degrees Celsius, is hot enough to melt lead. The Venusian landscape is a testament to this extreme heat, a desolate expanse of volcanic plains and towering mountains, scarred by lava flows and dotted with impact craters. Its atmosphere, a dense soup of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid, is not only hot, but also incredibly heavy, exerting a surface pressure 90 times greater than that of Earth. Imagine the weight of nearly a kilometer of ocean pressing down on you. This oppressive atmosphere creates a greenhouse effect of unimaginable intensity. Sunlight pierces the thick clouds, but the heat it carries is trapped by the dense carbon dioxide, creating a cycle of relentless warming. This runaway greenhouse effect is what makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system, even hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the Sun. It's a world of extremes, a stark reminder of the delicate balance that makes life on Earth possible. But what if, into this inferno, we introduce a new element, a wild card that could disrupt the status quo and rewrite the Venusian narrative? That wild card, my friends, is water. Now let's envision the collision. Two icy asteroids, each carrying more water than all the oceans of Earth combined, hurtle towards Venus at incredible speed. The impact is cataclysmic, releasing energy equivalent to millions of nuclear bombs detonating simultaneously. The shock waves ripple through the Venusian atmosphere, disrupting the planet's delicate balance. Imagine the heat generated by this cosmic collision, a heat so intense that it vaporizes the asteroids on impact, instantly transforming their frozen cargo into superheated steam. This massive injection of water vapor into the Venusian atmosphere is the catalyst for change, the first domino in a chain reaction with potentially planet-altering consequences. The Venusian sky, usually a hazy yellow due to the thick sulfuric acid clouds, erupts in a fiery spectacle. Molten rock, vaporized ice and superheated gas are ejected into the upper atmosphere, creating a scene of unimaginable chaos and beauty. The impact craters, still glowing from the intense heat, become new features on the Venusian landscape. But the real drama is unfolding at a molecular level. The introduction of vast quantities of water vapor into the Venusian atmosphere sets in motion a series of chemical reactions, altering the very composition of the air we breathe. The immediate aftermath of the collision is a period of intense atmospheric upheaval. The massive injection of water vapor interacts with the carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere, triggering a cascade of chemical reactions. Some of the water vapor, energized by the sun's ultraviolet radiation, splits into its constituent elements, hydrogen and oxygen. 
the lighter hydrogen with its escape velocity exceeding that of Venus, begins to bleed off into space. The oxygen, more reactive and bound to the planet's gravity, interacts with the atmospheric sulfur dioxide, potentially leading to the formation of sulfuric acid rain. This acidic precipitation, however, is unlikely to reach the scorching surface. Instead, it forms a dense layer of high-altitude clouds, further obscuring the Venusian surface from view. These clouds, unlike the existing sulfuric acid clouds, are composed of water droplets, albeit highly acidic ones. Their presence has a significant impact on the planet's albedo, its reflectivity, potentially reflecting more sunlight back into space and contributing to a slight cooling effect. However, the question remains, can this initial cooling effect counteract the runaway greenhouse effect that has held Venus captive for billions of years? The answer, my friends, is far from simple.